Welcome to Closer Look. I'm your host, Chris Foster. On this episode, we will take our annual look at the finished projects of Parkland's video production students. From PSAs to short films, Parkland students have a variety of opportunities to learn and showcase their video production skills. COM 144 is Parkland College's Video Production One course. It provides students with hands-on experience in a television studio environment. The course covers everything from directing and producing to studio crew duties and performing on camera. The students use the space and equipment that we're using right now to produce their own talk shows and later on in the semester they produce and edit their own news packages. Students Greg Brannon and Gabrielle Perry decided to focus their package on a local treasure in Bloomington, Illinois. You're walking into the perfect scenery. <laughs> you what are. You do. This is perfect for Victorian anything. I am Karen Patton. I'm Nancy Perzo, and we're sisters. Welcome to the Room and Mansion, a place once owned by a very charitable couple that prized community. This mansion has turned into a bed and breakfast that still serves as a social gathering hub in Bloomington, Illinois. On December 2nd, the Tea Ladies hosted a Victorian Christmas Memories Tea at the Room and Mansion. At the tea, the mansion provided a buffet of savory and sweet treats while the tea ladies spoke about traditions of Christmas past. We took them back in time today. We took them on a sleigh ride. We took them ice skating. We prepared Christmas dinner. We decorated the tree. We got our, you know, picked out our gowns for the dinner that night. People are always interested. We talk about some gifts that were popular oh, yeah. at the time. And the year that we're talking about in this program is about 1890 or so. And so we talk about things like stereoptigans and uh, the magic lanterns, which are like modern day slide projectors. Slide projectors, pretty much. It was a little show they could project on the wall of just some cut out images. But it was really fascinating mm -hmm. and exciting to get all these new tech technical toys. Yeah. I mean, technology is always like the best present you can give. Well, they were doing <laughs> it back then too. The tea was not just for an educational purpose and a fun time. The tea ladies are known in the community for helping fundraise local projects. I think that's my favorite thing yes. to do, is to help people with fundraisers. We helped um, a community raise enough money to get a new women's mammogram machine for their hospital. This time, the tea ladies are helping the Vrooman Mansion restore their traditional stained glass windows by helping the mansion host events to raise money for the repairs. Uh, the house turns 150 next year, so we're doing a lot of fundraising to be able to preserve the stained glass in the house. I mean, this mansion has a long history. Yes. And I mean, if you start just post-Civil War and you take all of that late Victorian, Edwardian, pre-World War I, yeah. post, up into the Jazz Age, I mean, it covers all of it. A realm of history that people just, that there's a lot for them to learn about. So it was built in 1869. There were 17 rooms built then, and then Matthew and Julia Scott moved in in 1872. Um, they had a considerable amount of farmland, part ownership in the county's coal company, and her sister married Vice President Adlai Stevenson. So they were very well off politically, as well as in the um, area here. Julia actually expanded the house in 1900, adding 18 rooms. They raised their two daughters here. Um, eventually, youngest daughter Julia and her husband Carl moved in. Later, it was just youngest daughter Julia, and she was almost 105 when she passed away in 1981. During the time Julia owned the Vrooman Mansion, she set up her home as an infirmary for World War I soldiers, and even helped during the Spanish influenza. When Julia was not using her home to help those in need, she was giving lavishly to charities. The current owners continue to do charitable work through the mansion. I think the room and mansion. I do too. The whole staff is doing the that. charitable work by opening up this home. Like last night, 350 yeah. people 
either had a story from the past about this place mm -hmm. or had never heard of it before and learned all about it for the first time and they were really psyched up right. to be helping with those windows and being a contributor to the fundraiser. It was wonderful. Since 1869, the Vrooman Mansion has been an inspiration for charitable work and the preservation of history. With the help of the tea ladies and many more, the employees plan to keep it that way. COM 145, or Video Production 2, focuses more on field production, which means the production work takes place outside of a television studio, or in the field. One of the first assignments of the semester is the PSA project. For this project, students are responsible for writing, filming, and editing their own public service announcement. Let's take a look at some of the finished examples. There's nothing like getting out and enjoying nature, seeing the beautiful plants, animals, or just enjoying the great weather. Taking your dog for a walk even. But then you look down, you notice trash, plastic, bottles, cans laying on the ground. And all that beautiful nature just doesn't seem as beautiful anymore. But what can we do to help? Next time you're out and you see trash on the ground, pick it up, throw it away, don't just leave it. Grab the cans, bottles, and recycle them. Keep the world clean. That way, the next person who's out enjoying the beautiful weather or taking their dog for a walk can enjoy the beautiful nature and plants and animals and not the trash that's left behind by other people. For more information on how to keep nature clean, visit response.restoration.noaa.gov and keep that nature clean. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> Just clots. <sighs> the projects get more challenging as the semester continues. Following the PSA project, students are asked to create their own movie trailer. Today we are going to take a look at five of those trailers with the genres ranging from horror to suspense to retro TV. All right. Okay, this should work. Do you think a real camera will do it? I mean, it's worth a shot. Well, today we're going to talk about uh, doing our short film. So we need to figure out 
a topic that we're gonna go with and kind of maybe talk about it and decide what topic we're gonna do, what kind of movie we're gonna make, who's gonna play what characters, and go from there. <laughs> I'm telling you, it isn't real. We're all out of our minds. Okay, so what is the what are the odds that the whole class saw exactly the same thing? I mean, it's even on camera, dude. Yeah, but... You can't deny that something strange happened. I mean, the building's too young to even have ghosts. Well, I mean, so what is it? Is it some sort of poltergeist or something like that? Guys? Yeah, it's right behind me, isn't it? We clearly found you with the victim's blood on your hands. The murder weapon clearly by your side. And multiple witnesses so that you were at the scene of the crime at the same time. Now what I'm trying to figure out is why did you kill him? I'm telling you, I didn't do anything! Cut the crap, that's what they all say. What are you doing? I'm looking for clues as to who killed Zach. Why are you doing that? Because there's a huge conspiracy. And they framed me. Who's they? They. I don't know who they are, but I'm gonna find out. Dude, you're really starting to freak me out right now. Oh my god. Tell me why you did it. I didn't do anything. Stop lying to me. You don't think I did it, did you? How do I even know what to think anymore? I've got to find these people before they kill again! Do you really want to know what's been going on? I'm getting too old for this. Here's a story of a class at Parkland. Videography class, COM 145. There were eight students in all, and Mr. Foster, they are his joy and pride. First there's Matt, who is a fabulous songwriter. And there's Joe, who hosts a show on radio. Travis gets down on the drum. And the piano, Elizabeth's a budding star And photography is what Mac likes to study See his photos and you'll see he's pretty good Zach loves heavy metal music And Metallica And scary movies too And then Evan really loves to be creative And this girl who likes to do all kinds of things Mr. Foster has them all 
each one so different, he lets them do their thing. After 10 weeks, they become great film producers. They can write, edit, and film all on their own. They're creative dynamos. Budding Spielbergs and at Parkland College, they achieve success. The Parkland Bunch. The Parkland Bunch. This is where they achieve their great success. It's gonna be fine. We just we'll go in there, take some pictures. Dude, nothing bad's gonna happen. Today, my brother disappeared. Now, this happens to my dad. An investigation is underway over the death of Police Chief Jack Daniels. Officer Daniels was rushed to the hospital early this morning after being found unconscious near Whistlemill Creek, but was pronounced dead upon arrival. No suspects have yet been identified. So there's got to be a clue as to who killed him. I told you before, nobody knows who did it. They couldn't find any suspects. Not yet, they haven't. What makes you think that? Where the heck is this place at? The hash slinging slasher? That's just a myth. An urban legend. I wonder who that could be.
My favorite project of the semester is the short film. The class decides as a group on the movie they would like to produce. Everyone is responsible for writing, filming, and acting out different parts of the film. In the end, each student edits their own version of the movie to share with the class. This year's short film focused on the superhero genre. So without further ado, here is Superhero Community College. All right, welcome to First Year Experience. I'm your instructor, Mr. Foster. Thank you for signing up for the class. It's like a great group. We're going to have a great semester. Uh, just to kind of start things off, basically. They really don't know why I brought them here. But I have a plan for each and every one of them. Uh, we have a 15-week course. We will have 15 quizzes, one every week. Each one of those quizzes is worth So the organization uh, actually began back in 1913 when uh, the scientists I wish I could record these songs. Song, song, song. If only. Twelve seconds later. The importance is that a lot of the stuff I'm talking about, people are going to see that differently. Each person is going to have their own kind of thoughts and visions on, on how this is going to work out for them. Have our own fears as well and we're going to learn about how to deal with those and the best way to kind of fight those fears. Born with the astonishing power to run away from any sort of danger after a freak traumatic experience of witnessing a hit and run, I decided that I should use this power for good by becoming run away from danger man with the ability to run far away from any sight of danger visible to the naked eye. Yeah. I realized that I need to face my fears and attempt to fight the danger when it approaches. I also know from running these first year experience classes that each student's gonna have their own strengths. No one is going to be invisible in this class. I want to hear everybody's voices. Everybody's opinion matters. Hey, can we do this interview now? I'm over here. Oh, uh, sorry. No, you're good. I'm ignored all the time. And uh, uh, well, it's like a friendsgiving thing, so it's almost like a potluck. So okay. I think you bring anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
chips. Sweet. Um, I'll have the chips ready, uh, okay. so no, nobody needs to worry about that. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, what's up? Okay, hey. I hear a voice, but I hey. don't know. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Mm. Too bad Joel's not here. Yeah. Whatever. So what if you come? Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm back over here. <laughs> Sorry again. Sorry. You're good. And another thing about this class is you may know what, you know, other people are thinking or you may have an idea or you think people are thinking different things about you. But that's not always true. <laughs> Look at that Look peanut at that head. head. Peanut head. Gosh, what a loser. Huh? Did I leave the yeah, coffee yeah, maker yeah, on? He walks funny. He walks funny. <laughs> And again, we're going to be talking also about just health and diet, how to be healthy, how to eat better, um, how to save money by cooking healthy meals for yourself. Hey, that candy bar was able to taste it. Hey, wait, wait a minute. minute. There's nothing in there that's healthy. Healthy? Who cares about healthy? She does. That one. If if you want to be your best, then you know this is a test for the best for you is to be what? healthy, happy, healthy, tasty, healthy. That one right there. That one. We're also going to be talking about budgeting and how to kind of like save your money and so you can really get the things that you want instead of something that you may not want. Yeah, uh, sorry I'm late. I was up all night writing a paper about how heroes' abilities reflect their beliefs. It was, it was due at midnight and I had two weeks to write it, but things kept coming up and getting in the way. Uh, yeah. So, origin story. It all started when I was born. I was born late. I was almost a C-section, but I guess the moment the term was uttered, I just popped out. Uh, anyways, anyways. I've always had intentions of coming here, just I haven't been able to come until the semester for one reason or another. I, I'm here to learn something new. Alright, so that should be a wrap for the semester. Uh, I graded all your tests, everybody did a great job. I'm, I'm proud of all of you and that's pretty much it for the semester. Now go out there and use your powers for good. Oh, and remember, do it for Stan. Thanks for watching this edition of Closer Look. I hope you enjoyed all the projects produced by Parkland's video students. If you're interested in video production or you would like more information about our communication program, call 217-351-2392 or email faa at parkland.edu. See you next time.